When a regional comprehensive economic partnership or RCEP took effect in January, many enterprises in Sichuan weren't taking full advantage, according to local officials. So Chengdu Customs District took measures to help them. In the first half of this year, we noticed many enterprises couldn't use RCEP well as they didn't understand it accurately. So we worked with Chengdu Municipal Commerce Bureau to issue a list that covers over 8,000 goods and commodities. The list can guide businesses to check for zero tariff commodities in RCEP countries easily, making trade much more efficient. The value of a trade in June alone reached 280 million U.S. dollars, exceeding that of the past five months. While chemicals and the new energy industry sectors performed well, most of that trade came from the lithium battery industry. As the largest single base of producing cathode materials for lithium batteries in the world, this company can produce 100 tons of materials this year, which are sold to domestic companies or exported to South Korea. The business volume this year is expected to surpass 2 billion US dollars, and this is thanks to regional comprehensive economic partnership. Since the company was founded in 2015, it has been producing cathode materials such as high nickel and lithium cobalt oxides. It produced 60 tons with a turnover of 1 billion US dollars in 2021, but welcomes the opportunities that RCEP presents to take that further. With the rules of origin in RCEP, our South Korean customers can enjoy more favorable tax rates. The list that Chengdu Customs District made has also enabled us to fully understand the entry requirements of products in RCEP countries. The manager says they hope to expand their exports, seeking new markets in RCEP partner countries. Meanwhile, Chengdu Customs District is determined to spread knowledge about the trade advantages under the trade agreement, so other enterprises also get to benefit. Chen Songwu, CGTN, Sichuan Province.